The ridge is a, it's like a cliff, you know, you can either push yourself or you can either have somebody push you off this type of ridge or you can overcome this ridge and you can build a bridge to get to the other side. Um, the Ridge Project actually came out of our vision um, that was born out of our own difficulties and struggles. What motivates me is, is my own family. When my husband went to prison in 1991, uh, we looked around and saw that there really was no support for families going through incarceration. I got two sons and a daughter. Um, I met my daughter in a prison visiting room. My sons grew up visiting me in a prison visiting room. In 1993, uh, my husband and I in a prison visiting room were sitting and talking about what we wanted to do to make a difference, not only for our own kids, but for other families going through the same thing and for other children. To see the heartache and pain that they had to go through, uh, and they were innocent, um, is, is, is part of the driving force. We came up with the name Keeping Faith. Um, and, and we were like, wow, keeping families and inmates together in harmony and with a real focus on, on fathers taking the rightful place and healthy families and helping children not follow in the footsteps of their fathers. That keeps me wanting to come back in here and not see other uh, fathers' children look like they looked. And, and then there's my wife, who is truly is a warrior. Do I feel no shame? Say nothing to you. I feel like right now that my relationship with Latoya is like one of my biggest things that I have going with myself. If you follow the guidelines and the rules of the of the communications, then you're gonna get through issues instead of them being um, stagnant. The mo my motivation was to let my wife know that I was sincere about making our relationship work um, because obviously you know, being in prison is, is not easy for neither one of us. I'm living a life upright and full of virtue. I'm a man of integrity. Okay, my name is Rogelio Sanchez. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. For myself and all those around me, I do not use my freedom to imprison others mentally or physically. In the program, the first program they started there, they told me about it. They told me what it involved. It involved communication with your spouse. So I was very interested in it because me and my wife, we didn't really have a good communication. I'm grateful. I strive to achieve my highest potential. I live my life in moderation. I do not need material things to make me feel important or valuable. And it wasn't until I actually came into this program to where she started able to have a voice, to where she was able to talk to me, and I had to listen because that's what this program does. It helps you to listen. I've learned from pain and suffering. I will not use pain and suffering as an excuse to fail because I am free. Well, you should see the first time she spoke to me, looked me in my face. I mean, I could see the nervousness in her eyes, like she was on a job interview or something like that. And, and, and when I seen that in her face, it helped me realize that I'm not being the man that I need to be to my wife. I do not come from others, but from doing what is right and just in all things. I'm confident. I'm neither arrogant nor boastful. And at the time, the Ridge Project wasn't available to help me change. What do I got to do? So over the years, I'm trying to be a better man, but there was really no program that's teaching me how to communicate. I am patient. I do not lose my temper when I do not get my way. We signed up for the program. My wife shows up. We're sitting in the chapel area where they run the program at, and my wife shows up. And I'm going to tell you something. That took me all the way back to elementary school. Because I remember when we had certain functions for elementary school, um, be it programming, musicals, things like that, I would look out in the audience and no family there. I had no family there. My mother couldn't show, my father, nobody showed up. 
or give up when I encounter resistance. But when I see my wife come to this program, it made me feel like I was back in elementary school and that that parent walked in and was there for me. And when I see my wife walking in, it just brought this smile to my face to say, she's really here for me and she really wants this. I'm a man worth following. And I can honestly say that while I'm sitting here talking to you, this is, this is not fake, this is genuine. I've been in office for 25 years and I am, uh, have grown generally skeptical of, of many programs because so many of them in the end prove not to be uh, very successful in their mission. Because I tell you what, the moment you tell somebody that I have a prison number, you can see in their face, can you not? The main attribute to this program, number one, is, is its success. What do we call them people? I mean, what do you mean, what do you call them? Do we call them inmates? Do we call them convicts? I, I tasted the ground. It's important because in the end, uh, one of the main pillars of strength of our community, and indeed these United States of America, is uh, fatherhood, uh, dads being involved in their children's lives and their families' lives. How is he going to overcome that when the children in his neighborhood, they're having a slumber party, but they don't want to invite him. Don't invite him, his dad's in prison. Don't invite her to the Girl Scout meeting because her dad's in prison. This project has been very successful in uh, reuni reuniting families, in particular uh, after the fathers leave prison, uh, keeping them home and out of prison or ex-cons, but when you're talking to him one-on-one, -on -one, call him by his name. And to have a successful program that achieves results in that area is um, absolutely astounding. The guys are very eager to get this. They're very eager to mend their relationship, which they've never had. Now they're seeing a relationship that if they'd had before they come here, they would have never come here. When I got to the institution, I probably was here a month, and guys like Mr. Ballard, they got at me and was like, Lampkin, you gotta, you ain't gonna believe this. Uh, you don't have many programs that, that uh, promotes you have an interaction with your children and your loved ones. And I didn't believe it. Once I got down there and I entered that environment and, uh, and I got a bite of what they were putting down as far as their curriculum and the things that they was trying to bring out of us. Because see, our children need us very bad and even though we in this situation we still have an influence on our lives and I just can't explain the impact that the Ridge Project has had on my children. Some individuals are doing short periods of time some are doing long periods of time but to still have the interaction with your children to have a part in their lives being incarcerated really is what touched me about the program. And I give my own children gifts I do for my own children but when the Ridge Project showed up at my house dropping gifts off to my children saying that's from daddy to be able to spend time with your children, to show how to build relationships, not only with just, you know, uh, your significant other, but also with your children in every aspect of your life. Uh, my wife, they handed my wife a gift. She felt like she, she grown, a grown woman. She was about to cry, you know. It just really touched me that the way that they, the things that they do to make sure that you have that type of interaction as a father. You know, they see that we have redeeming qualities within us and their goal and their objective is to reach inside of us and pull those redeeming qualities out so that when we go forward the next day and the next day and all of our tomorrows, they would, our, all our actions would pretty much reflect those things that we value the most. And that's what I appreciate the most about the Red Project. You know, um, they are rehabilitating me.